breeze blows as much air as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sail through a storm? You never mentioned. Fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leaf. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elder Man and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The Great Summer Army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows straight. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. <laughs> Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. Straightforward. The guards here are vigilant. I'll try something new. How kind. We'll keep your voice down. I need your eyes, my friend. Need to be. 
cloak myself here. Killed you all. Come on. 
Well struck. We made short work of Whitman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge.
Talk to you. Hey! Oh! Uh, you old uh, uh, Get back here and face me! Uh, the back! Right off the mic!
with me. Send this. Driver! the side.
You, Dean! Come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless, the most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Ooh. Ooh. A flighter? Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god! You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That is a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. See, your rhythm's how a fool would attempt to debase me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. Says the flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills, and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. You can stop stumbling over your verses. I have already had more than my fill. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Ferkel the Faceless or Ferkel the Wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Ferkel? Hello?
kjötið mæran fyrir moldiða. You'll get nothing out of me. Nothing! Insects like you would not be crawling out of the muck if Wigman wasn't hurting. Talk! Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Euroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is a province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm. Thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Hello and welcome. You never know when this might come in handy. Seems like you're expecting trouble. You have an eye for craftsmanship. You would look very striking with this. All done. I will see you later, friend.
fina där tre tre en dagar och helt för fina Vad var nej ni inte tala där Outer and neck to the casino Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? I found Galen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? Galen told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? Galen puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Galen sees an important meaning. I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. You. You told me you found yellow paint on Galen's longboat, didn't you? Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! 
He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one...